Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in the workshop and we have some new equipment in. Uh, this has arrived today. I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing and first impressions on this piece of kit. This is the Femi N250 DAXL metal bandsaw. So guys, welcome back to the channel. For any of you into your fabrication, machinery or just general unboxing, you can see that we've got a big package in front of us and we finally had our new bandsaw arrive. So this is something we've been waiting a long time to get. Um, it's been something we've wanted to upgrade and we're finally in the position to pull the trigger on this piece of kit. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox this beast. As you can see, we've started and go through what you get putting it together and then kind of first cuts and what you get from this machine out of the box. Um, so this is pretty much, from what I understand, the biggest single phase bandsaw you can get straight from the supplier. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like for our um, our growing our growing workshop. So the format of this video is a little different from the usual. I've just been filming all day and capturing our day pretty much. So. Before we got really stuck into this tool, we had a big sort out because we had an abundance of metal on and around our old bandsaw. So we had two small hobby bandsaws and these were getting replaced by this one machine. So yeah, we got these cleared, got the old saws out and then we got started into putting this thing together. So our machine's pretty much built and we've got the last few bits to do. One of these is going to be changing to a 16 amp 3 pin plug, uh, the standard workshop socket for us. And then this is lovely to see, we're adding coolant to the machine, so this is a big upgrade having a coolant fed machine. None of our old machines had this. And before we turn it on, a quick look at the mitre feature. So we've got 60 degree mitre in one direction. Two would be nice, but one is more than enough for us. And that's held in place with the swinging arm underneath. And then here's a quick look at your back cover where your blade goes in. So nice overview of that. And we're ready to turn it on. So first time we turn it on and then just let the saw go for a cycle and turn itself off. Turn it on. So now machine's up and running, it's time to do some cutting and the manual and general workshop knowledge for us kind of means you've got to bed this blade in. Um, the best way to do that is just by loading the blade evenly and getting as much pressure on all the teeth um, rather than just point loading it. So we cut some plate and then we cut a bit of box section and just kind of some thick wall materials just to get the machine working and being used and here we've just set a measurement and we're going to see how easy it is to cut the length you want so we've gone for a 50 mil block and we're going to see what this measures out at what's that sitting at just under 50 mil it's the shit we work within just under yeah. 50 mil 49 mil yeah i can tell So there's a little run out on one side, uh, one mil off, but we're going to move to our biggest enemy, which is stainless steel tubing. Uh, a recent job we had made us realise how difficult it was to cut this stuff square, 
and we're hoping this saw will change that for us. So we've dropped in there exactly the same material and we're going to see what this cuts like. Um, we were hoping very much that this would come out nicely straight away and we were pretty impressed. Um, it was much better than our old machine but there was still a little that room half for mil, improvement. See? That half mil, see? They did on the last one. We need to adjust that out. Adjust so we now are going to make some small adjustments and the adjustment we found was in the, the mitre head so where it stop was it was slightly off so that's where we were losing that measurement so here we're just adjusting the stop and making sure that the zero is in fact zero between the blade and the vise so a quick adjustment and back to some more cutting so So the last thing we're going to cut is some thick bar, some steel bar, and this is just a nice test for cutting little discs and some thick material. Um, it's not an easy cut, but the machine absolutely breezes through it. Uh, it's nice having confidence in your machine knowing you're going to get a square cut. So it was great to see this cut through, and the finish was really, really high quality, as you can see here. So guys, I hope that gave you a good overview of this piece of kit. If you're thinking about getting one, um, so far I could recommend it. It's a really solid bit of kit and it's probably the biggest, most versatile saw you can get single phase. But um, in an upcoming video, we're gonna be taking this. As you can see, our workshop isn't the biggest. We're limited for space. As we start off, we're small. Um, so we're gonna be building a base for this out of some steel box section and we're gonna be fitting it with some casters as per my table. So that should allow us to move it around and then drop it onto the casters to make sure it's level and square. So uh, keep an eye out for that in the next video. But until then, um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.